Hi, I'm Tassa Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and trainee here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm going to show you how to make a natural moustache wax. Now let me show you how to put it together. Alrighty, so here I have all my phase A ingredients. I'm starting off with some caprylic capric triglycerides. You don't want anything too heavy because you don't want your moustache to be too heavy, too oily and too greasy. So I'm going with a medium fill triglyceride. To this I'm adding a small input of some avocado oil. This is going to help if you've got dry beard hair, which a lot of the time you do. It's like a dry coarse type of hair. Next I'm going to be adding some shea butter. This is going to help give it a nice buttery soft feel. It's also going to add a bit of shine to the beard hair as well and it's also going to help it spread throughout the hair. Now next is my waxes. So firstly I'm going in with the Carl Wax Marika and this is a natural wax de derived from berry fruit peels. So it's pretty much a uh, naturally hydronated oil but in a solid form. It has a low melting point and it provides really good hardness to um, stick products. So you do want to have a good balance here of soft and hard waxes. You do want to have a hard wax obviously to make it more stable and thicken it up a bit because it probably will be either in a pot, jar or in a stick form even. My next wax is the Carl Wax Sunflower. And this is a well balanced soft hard wax. So this is also going to add to the stability of my moustache wax here. It's also natural. It's got a really elegant skin feel. And it's also going to help with consistency and helping the moustache wax spread throughout the hair as well. It's got really similar benefits to Carnauba wax, but it, it doesn't show as much um, crystallization as Carnauba wax. And then I'm just going in with a small input of the Carl Wax Rapeseed. Now this is a soft wax. It almost looks like a butter. But it's really nice and buttery so again that's going to help spread the wax through the hair. Um, it's also going to give it a bit of shine, it's going to give it a nice buttery feel and it's also going to help condition that hair because beard or moustache hair is quite dry a lot of the time. Okay so next we're just going to pop that one on heat and wait for all our waxes and butters to melt. And we're just going to give it a bit of a stir just to help cool it down. Okay, once it's cooled to just above setting point, we are going to add in our more heat sensitive materials. So I'm just going in here with my essential oil blend. This is a nice woody blend. So really good for the target market here. And I'm just going in with my antioxidant too. So we will need to let this sit overnight until it goes into its solid form. Um, and if you like, this would be the time now to pour it off while it's still molten. Okay, and here's what my moustache wax is looking like the next day. See, it's still semi-soft but easy enough to get it on your finger. It's got really good spread. It's not too oily or greasy either and it's spreading really nice and buttery. It's quite soft. Well there you go. That's how easy it is to make a natural moustache wax. If you enjoyed today's video please give it a thumbs up, leave any questions in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on the rest of our videos. Happy formulating!